Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I created this simple DIY Princess Tiana crown to go along with my daughter's costume. The crown that I created goes really well with this deluxe costume that I got from Amazon. So I'm starting with these two gold headbands that I got from Forever 21. I got to the cash register and they were on sale for 99 cents, but they have a few pieces missing, so I got them for 69 cents each. I started by picking the crown that I would like to use, and next you'll just need a flower with white or tan petals. some glue sticks and also a glue gun. So this is the only type of flower that I can find around this time of year. It's like a poinsettia flower and I'm going to start by taking the leaves off. Once you get to this point, you want to start cutting the petals off. So I went ahead and sized the petals for my crown. You're going to need one large, two medium, and two small. I also laid them out in order to make it easier when I start gluing them to the crown. So taking your first large petal, you want to place it right in the center of your crown. Next, I'm going to take a bead of my hot glue and place it right in the middle to adhere to that petal. Once you place the petal on top, you just want to press it to make sure it's stuck on. Moving on to our medium petals, I'm going to do the same thing, but only on the inside of the crown because I still want the gold flowers on the outside to show. So we're going to repeat the same as before, place some glue. Then put your flower right on top the petal, but this time you want to place it outwards so that the inside is facing you. You just want to flip your crown around to make sure everything looks good. And then you want to place some more glue and adhere your next petal. just press it on and next you're just going to repeat the same process for the last two petals.
Once everything was done, I wanted to reinforce the petals. So I placed some glue between each two petals that were touching and I just pressed them both together. So for this last step, I just took one of the gold flowers from my other crown that I got and I wanted to place it right in the center just to give it a more embellished look and I'm using this nail glue because I couldn't find my crazy glue so I had to improvise. It works just the same so don't worry. So that's it for this short and simple DIY Princess Tiana crown. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also hit the bell down below to know when I upload a new video.